YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the crazy family. And if you've already been here, <laughs> for those who hate it, extra for you. Um, ya lo sabes que tú eres parte de la familia. That means you're already you're part of the family. Today's video, I'm going to go in with a fall. I haven't seen falls makeup tutorials on YouTube lately because everybody is so worried about exposing themselves and talking about the truth. I don't know what truth we're talking about. and all this drama is just so discouraging to log into YouTube. I'm not even joking. It's like, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And somebody said out there that every YouTuber makes $60,000 a video. That's a huge lie. I wish I was making $60,000 a video. Georgia. Okay. Anyways, um, if you guys really know how much money people's making, Google them. You will find it. Trust me. Big time, okay? Anyways, I don't want to get into that because it's just so annoying. I'm over it. I'm not, I want to do a tutorial today. So what I was inspired by, um, it was this image by Fenty, I believe. Yeah, Fenty. This right here, let me forget, this right here screams out fall in a one, two, three, like, oh my. I, I saw this look and I was like, I want to recreate that. Like a blown out red with the burgundy lip, like give it to me. And that's what I'm going to do today. So if you want to see how I recreate, this red situation that I have in mind, hopefully it comes out. Keep on watching. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'll do a drink water because my mouth gets really dry. I already moisturized my face. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MAC uh, Prep and Prime. This one right here used to be one of my favorites. And for some reason, I stopped using it. I don't have no idea why. Because other ones came in line. I get like three little pumps and I put that all over my face. Good. Then after that, I'm gonna grab my Mail Cosmetic Blur Stick. This one right here by Mail Cosmetics. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one in the areas where I have like the pores are like, hi, how are you? It's around here. I'm gonna go around my mouth, underneath my eyes, nose, and then the forehead right here. In the middle of the face, literally. If you hear Rosito, he's snoring right now. I'm gonna go ahead and correct my face right quick. And what we're gonna start with is gonna be eyes because if I do my face first, that red is gonna drop all over my foundation, and I already know because it's a really deep red that we're going for. So we're gonna start with eyes first. All right. How are we feeling? We have a new camera, new setup. Do you guys see the difference? Or do it looks the same? Hopefully, it looks different because I dropped some dinero up in this. Hello, money. First thing we're going to start with is with the dose of colors. This one's right here are their, what is this? Their cream matte eye color and hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. And I won't take no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road. I'm going to grab this and we're going to just, you know, go for it. Don't be scared. Just hit it. Look at that red. Ooh, it's just, I love, I love these kind of colors. And that's just like a cream eyeshadow. I love that. I love when color just blend. So we're gonna hit it right quick, right quick with the um we coming back with the Mel Cosmetics. Mel Cosmetics um is an Instagram brand. The owner, her name is Laura, she's like the sweetest. And um, yeah, her eyeshadows are bomb. So I've been having this one's like for a long time. We're gonna go and hit it with Enigma, and it's this red eyeshadow. And we're just gonna literally, literally like pack that thing in there make sure you shake shake and put it on top of the damn those green eyeshadows by dose of colors are amazing i'm blown away right now i'm like damn look at that Okay, so now we have, oh, look at that, like, vampire vibes. Oh, my goodness, I'm loving it. I'm going to grab a blending brush, and we're going to attack those edges. Is it, is it called edges? What is this called? Edges, right? So it doesn't look hard. And with this look, we're going to add and take, add and take, add and take, you know? But we need to start the base really, really good. So make sure that you blend it out. We're going to blend it. You guys see the difference? No? So this one's a little hard. This one's a little more. Hmm. The same thing to the other eye. I go back with a little more eyeshadow and I do the same thing. A little more just on top. 
Because when you blend, it makes it softer when you add more, like if you, I don't know how to explain it, but you could add more blend and the more product is gonna be in there. So it just doesn't look like the color is down here because I want to blow out red eye. Not red eye, burgundy eye, maybe. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Rapid brush. I could have done my foundation first, but I was scared of the fallouts. Like after this, I'm gonna have to jump with the foundation. Yeah. So right now, we're just gonna leave it like that. Um, I'm gonna move on to foundation. When I do my makeup, you guys, I go from all over the place. You know, these are normally like, it's just not like one thing, two, no. This is how it is. I'm showing you guys the real deal. Um, we're gonna go in. Today we're going to be using the Bobbi Brown foundation. This one is the Stay Long Wear Weight Foundation SPF 15 in the color Warm Sand 6.5. This is literally like my perfect color. Grabbing my um, Booty Blender by Tarte. I'm going to go ahead and grab. That's nice. I just seen somewhere that you should start applying your foundation in the middle of the face and I never do that. I always start my corners. I don't know why. Like if you want your makeup to less look less cakey, you start in the middle. But I never start in the middle. And even if I try, it feels weird. All right, 2,500 minutes later, we finished blending our foundation. And this is the reason and this is the reason why I didn't go so detailed on the eye because I knew it was gonna get messed up. So I'm like, you just say stop now, stop now. I'm gonna be using the new MAC Concealers uh 24 hour studio fix. I always love the studio fix foundation, so I'm really excited to try this ones and see how they work. I'm gonna use like maybe two. Oh, it's creamy. Not creamy, it's liquidy. This one is that NC45 and the no, what is this? NC50. NC50 to cancel any situation. I kind of want to put that on my area down here because, you know, but yeah. The 24 hour, that's how they look like. Consider. Okay, so we're gonna grab Booty Booty. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Monica is raving about these concealers, so we're gonna see if I like them. Oh, it looks pretty. But I'm like, I don't see full coverage though. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab NC45 and this is gonna be for highlighation. Yeah. This is, it's not creamy, it's liquidy. Like hella liquidy. So we kind of let it like, we're gonna let it marinate a little. Because I need some coverage and for it to stain it and be like high highlight for you. Thank you so much. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, I'm gonna go on the nose, highlight. Then my upper do 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 right here. Lip chin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it marinate in there normally like I normally do. Because well that was hard. Because um it's very liquidy. I'm gonna grab Booty Blender and I'm gonna start blending the other areas. My chin. Where did I like? Okay. I'm a little iffy about this concealer. I don't know why it's too it's too liquidy. I don't like liquidy stuff. Um, it will give you, I don't feel like it's gonna give you a full coverage, in my opinion. It did brighten, that's good. I could go brighter if I want, but. I don't think I want to go that bright. Let's see. Oh, I did brighten my nose. I like that. The Maybelline Superstay in the color 360 Mocha. And there's this one right here. And I use that for contouring. It's been like my favorite thing to contour. And I, I love the foundation. I like the foundation. I didn't think that I was going to like it. And then I tried it. I was like, oh my God, it's so good. So we're going to put the lip on the nose and the bottom lip. I don't know why I do that. I've seen it somewhere now. I, I don't, it doesn't get out of my routine. Like when I'm doing it, my hand just go by itself and it does it. So, don't cover me, okay? Just, I like my lips a little bit. I'm gonna use the booty blender and blend this stuff. 
Oh, see how that gave me my face chisel? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and attack the under eye area. Let's see. And then I'm gonna go back to blending my contour. It's just I couldn't go in because I still have that in there. And we're gonna see how this blends out. See if it really gives you like a highlight. If I really want a stream highlight, I could go lighter with the um highlight. I could go with NC42. But I don't have it here. I never want to go get it. So NC45, it is for the MAC. Wait, is it blending or no? Is it blending? It's still lying there. Hold on. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I could apply a little lighter in there, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to keep it like this. And whatever's left here, I'm going to go and cut for the contour. Ooh, it blends out really, really good. Hmm, I like it. It's liquidy, but you could leave it there and then it will set and then you could blend it out. So it did work. I like it. I grabbed the Beauty Bakery flour uh, to cook underneath my eyes. I've been loving this thing so much just to set. That's all. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Too Faced Born This Way in the color medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and fit, set my whole face with this brush. How cute is this brush by Tarte? I got it the other day in my PR package. And I was like, this is cute. So, set the whole face with the Too Faced powder. Hmm. And I'm gonna highlight a little more, grabbing the old school, you know, Lotta Mercier and the regular translucent, and I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath the eyes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then I grab right away the brush that I set my face with, and I go ahead on top of it, because I don't like cooking too much. Well, this is my first, ooh, my under eye looks a little wrinkly. When I try new products, I always be all over the place. I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow, um, grab a little more red, and gonna blend it out. Be really good. Now that we have foundation on and stuff, I could start working on the bottom part of it. So here we go. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Those of color, hit the road with Jack uh, Red Tone, and I'm gonna pack my under eye with it and we gonna blow it out blow it out baby that was a little too much so let's kind of divide it in both of the eyes a little goes a long way by the way so you don't have to go cray cray loco mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now we're gonna grab en enigma Mel cosmetics and feel that brush and go ahead and tap it off because now we have foundation and stuff like that. So make sure we can tap it off. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab the blending brush that I was blending on top and go on the bottom to just any lines or anything like that. It's kind of blown out red, so I'm going in there. Okay, I'm gonna be grabbing uh, Granite by Anastasia. Better Belly Heels eyeshadow, what is this? Brow Whiz. And I'm just gonna go in there where I'm missing a couple hairs. I just don't want them to look so harsh, like I said, so that's why I'm going in with this one. Normally I use Ebony by Anastasia, but this one is a little lighter. So, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? Not too much, not too much. To done, done diddy, done done. I'm gonna grab Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia and set those babies up. I'm getting hungry. My under eye looks a little cray cray. I look like Vito Juice right now for some reason. I'm like blown out. I can't wait to have the finished look because in the middle, in the middle of everything, you look loca, and that's how you look right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. 
Now it's time to give myself some chisel. Grabbing MAC, uh, what is this? Deep Dark Mineral Line Skin Finish. And I'm gonna go ahead and bronze myself up with this. You wanna like do it on like dabbing it first, like this. Dab it, dab it, dab it. And then like blend it. Same thing to the other side. I like that. I like to start. Grab some blush. This one is a MAC blush. This one is in the color Fairy Impact. And it looks like this. One brush on one front. It's kind of like a pinkish. Just a little bit in there. Blush Army. That is Ryan. Thanks to him, I'm wearing blush now. Like legit, you guys know I used to not like blush at all. I'm like, oh, blush, I don't care. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean those baby cleanups in IO7. Remember you guys clean up in IO7? Clean up in IO7? Blush to just blend that in. Now we're gonna go back with the cleaner blending brush with nothing on it and I'm gonna go on top with the of the red and just bring out whatever comes out you know what I mean just kind of want to distribuirlo el color when I said in English without bringing any more color in Okay, stepping away from the eye. Step away from the eye, he said. Step away. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lashes. I'm kind of debating what lashes I want to go for because it is a pretty dramatic look. Ooh, look at those right there. This one's right here. Our Wispies with six, what is it? 600? 600 Ardell, like, Wispy lashes, I guess. I don't know what it's called. And I tap them together. Can I think I like this little duo? Look at that duo. I think that's cute. So we're gonna go with that. I was gonna go with Lily's, but I'm like, Lily's gonna be a little too much harsh for this makeup look. Like, look at them. Look at the beautifulness that I created. I used to love to put lashes together. I don't know why I stopped doing that. Like, I don't do that anymore. And I used to just always stock them up together. All right, while those eyelashes dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of highlight on. One is, I'm gonna grab Stila Bronze Highlighter, one of my favorites. It's It could be a really beaming highlight or subtle. It depends how you go with it. A little on the button nose, upper lip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, not so much. Let's leave it there, don't get carried away. Yeah, I'm grabbing my Tarte, it's one of my favorites. And I bend it like this. And I'm going in. Oh, yes. Oh, these lashes look so pretty. I'm going to wait it like dry a little and then I'm going to go in there with that burgundy eyeshadow and blend it out really, really good. Now we're going to move into the lips. We're literally going to take it there. I'm so excited because I haven't worn this eyeliner the whole year. This is Current by MAC. It's brand new. Look at it. It's brand new basically, and I'm gonna use it today. I'm gonna like warm it up on my hand before I go in. We're going in with current. There's nothing like a new MAC lipstick, a new lip liner by MAC. All right, so I feel my whole lip with it. There's a reason why I wear cork in a nude because it takes forever to put this on. Uh, with the lip color that I'm gonna go in is by Lime Crane. I just thought this one would be perfect. This is the color Blue Moon and it's literally like, we're gonna give it to me all the way. So let's kick this thing on. Not cake it, cause it, it gets sticky and uh-uh. Just feel your lips. Don't cake it. Yeah. 
Mm, that's very nice. Wow. Mm. Let me get that dry. Okay, now I'm gonna grab Anastasia Sad Girl right here. Um, and I'll put this on the top. It has like a little shimmery in there. So why not? My lips feel so dry. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Ooh, that's, oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and drink myself a little bit with the Fix Plus. I'm gonna make my eyes. That wasn't a little. Well, my face feels so dry. Man, let me hit this part. I have to do it. Oh, my face feels so dry. All right, guys, so this is my finished look. We took it like hella, hella, hella fall. Um, I even brought out the matte lipsticks. I feel so weird with this matte lipstick on my lip right now because I feel so dry. I'm never gonna lie. I'm so used to my lip glosses. I was gonna put a lip gloss on top, but I was gonna be like, it's gonna be a little too much because it's so like in your face. But I love how this came out. And the process, I was a little like, I don't know how this is gonna come out. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I ended up loving it. Imagine this with straight like hair. Oh my goodness, it'll be oh, like a party. Oh my goodness, I love I love blowout looks and like bold looking, you know, with bomb lashes. A good face, you ready to go. I did apply um, a topper highlighter and it was the Anastasia um, Amrezi highlighter. This one is beautiful as like a topper when I want a little more bling bling in there. Um, and yeah i hope you guys like this look comment below and let me know what you guys think or you guys be recreating something like this for fall party or fall situation because i am this is bomb and also you know let me know what you guys want to see i feel like youtube has become such a dark hole and a dark place and people want to see drama and tutorials are kind of like down the drain and it sucks because i love doing this kind of stuff and showing you guys and we're sharing it with y'all so let me know if you still enjoy these tutorials and if you want drama then i bring you drama you want drama you want me to expose everybody i'm gonna expose everybody no, i'm joking i would never do that that's just <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. That's just, oh no, I don't I won't even go down the hole. Mm -mm. Anyways, thank you for watching. And don't forget to comment, like I said below, what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Be part of the Crazy Familia. Turn on your notifications bell. Gling, 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 gling. So you guys know when I upload because YouTube has just been playing me and people don't know when I upload. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you for watching. Ciao. Besitos.